So much to reconcile. Well... Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, Oscar. Todd's about ready to get beat in the head. What's up, Sweet Pea? Dodge surprise you while you were sleeping?
mix here. This is like morning rations, kind of to uh, get prepared to uh, be able to actually have the confidence to get in the shower, stay upright, you know, get some nerve tonic, you know, coffee, a little caffeine to activate, to help the stuff flow. Freaking cocktail of different strains. Um, a lot of these are largely newer to me because we moved and I'm run out of my most regular sort of more medicinal strains like the white, orange crush, things like that directly. But, you know, other ones will do. You check the lineage and you roll the dice and you find a new strain and hope that you even got the right phenotype, you know. Someday during legality we're going to get help on this because we'll be able to run experiments and take data without being harassed or, you know, molested, bullied, thrown in jail, intimidated, um, socially shamed. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is going to get more sophisticated as it goes, but, yeah, you know, even this little bit is kind of like tearing off the band-aid. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of open things still to resolve um, internally for me and this is part of it because I'm tired of shouting on social media or trying to connect with anyone um, there's just too much and anyone that can even keep up usually ends up not working well because we, we, we end up not hearing each other. So, I've got a particular set of constraints or issues or requirements, you know, to resolve, but maybe, maybe this time I can start to make progress on my own, which would be good. Um, I make progress, but it's agonizingly slow, and there's a massive amount of a pain, randomness, pain, you know, risk, fear, 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 fear is a big one. Fear is like the biggest of all. I mean, you're afraid you're going to hurt something, you're afraid you're going to go back to the hospital, you're afraid somebody's going to know you're weak, you're afraid to be by yourself outside you know where before the outside was you know the place you were always trying to get back into you know if getting into the outside is something you can say <sighs> so I work my way up until I feel pretty confident if I don't blast right past it and get too high in space everything off for another couple hours it would be nice to be able to dial this in a little more uh, with a little more granularity I guess you know and uh, feedback loops and better data because we don't have I mean we're close it's like as long as I stick to things that were tested there's a certain amount of work that's been done for me in validating that I am at some level of confidence you know and have lowered a risk you know and especially being that you know it's part of my issues are with the nervous system missing part of my you know ner nerve root one at least one nerve root in my spinal column um, it gets it's 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 a different set of circumstances than someone who say has Crohn's or gout or um, you know I mean chemotherapy I mean there's this whole this whole like scope range spectrum of applications because when you look at the bottom of it the foundational truth is that so far as we know the endocabin <clears throat> the endocannabinoid system is uh, not only all-encompassing and prevalent in humans as a system of regulation and control um, and even regeneration of the body. I mean, regeneration is just another system in your body. You know, there's all these different 
subsystems or different functions that your body provides and if you weren't regenerating you'd be dead right now so we must regenerate those cells come back I mean there's no logical reason or scientific reason like of predilection we can uh, understand that that aging is actually a thing I mean it's almost to the point where time isn't necessarily real not that it ever was but anyhow that's a completely different conversation I mean if we look at time as a, a set of grouped occurrences events phenomena you know that are loosely associated in accordance with observing the shade moving across the lawn from our relational re relational position to the sun being on earth um, you know that's the thing is when you peel back everything and you go well okay why do we count things in hours anyways and once you understand that all we're doing is describing a relationship between the giant heat energy light object in the middle of our our you know I guess social universe <laughs> the moon and the sun right as we see it the biggest celestial objects arguably um, huh I need to do this I lost my place again really weird like this ladder works on intent you'd say it works on the switch but I could sit here and click it all day but unless I really intend for it to light you know it'll sit here I sat here once for minutes just flicking it trying to light it well probably seemed like minutes I don't think it was but yeah you have to intend to light it. you have to feel the mechanism all the way down you have to react to the snap and you have to feel that tension increase and not let it go because just it slides by too soft and you gotta, gotta get it with intent there's mechanical spiritual and well mechanical and spiritual does that equal cognitive huh well 15 minutes is about all I can stand to this so at least right now hey I'm watching my own stream there's one person that's me the one person who's watching this is me. Why am I glad I remuted this? I might have started talking to myself since the lag is here. <sighs> this thing. Where's my doohickey? There it is. And the end button. Yeah. I'm